Welcome to my channel, my name is Donato and in today's video I'll be going through my running book of the year 2020. Oh yes. But before I go into the details of that, I would very much like, and with this time of year, Christmas, I'd be mostly humbled and honoured. If you haven't already done so, if you give this video a thumbs up, click on the subscribe button, hit that alarm bell, as it would greatly help my channel. And I would love to get to, is it well, coming, slowly coming up to 2,000 subscribers here on YouTube. It'd be fantastic to achieve the 2,000 by Christmas Day. So thank you so much for that. Moving on to the book of the year. Yes. Yes, guys, it's been quite a year, 2020. For, for a lot of us, I mean, I could go through my whole thing and I did post on Instagram. If you're not following me on social media, I'm the poet with pace, at poet with pace, both on Instagram, uh, Twitter, and Facebook. You can find my groups there if you look at poet with pace. It's been quite a year but it's been quite a year in positive ways as well. But for this video, I just wanted to share because I've had time to learn new things and the personal best on that 10K, oh yes, only a few weeks ago. And thanks to the help of Carl Wellborn putting the plan together and coming out with me, it's been fantastic help boost. I've met new people, I've learned new things and I've read books, I've read quite a few books this year. So before I go to the one of the book of the year, there's a a mention I'd like to give to a few books that I have here. So let's go through just one or two of them. The first one I'd like to go through, having done my first triathlon, is the 80-20 Triathlon Training. Fantastic book and I refer the, to these for my training plans and stuff that I'm going to be doing in 2021 because I do have a triathlon coming up. Also worth a mention is Running With The Whole Body, which was recommended me by Suzanne, one of my subscribers over in the States. Fantastic book. And by the way, all these books have links in the uh, description below, Amazon links, and I get a bit of a kickback, I think, with being an affiliate. So it'd be great if you did purchase these books, click on those links. And third is the training with heart rate. There's a lot of talk now. It seems to be becoming a bit of a trend. And uh, I won't mention those channels where they're now talking about this. Um, I've been talking about it for years. I've got this book sort of reinforcing what I've been doing for what, about three years now in terms of training to particular heart rate. So those are the books that are worth a mention. But the book of the year can only be one book. Yes, I had the honour. It's The Lost Art of Running. And as it says here, a journey to rediscover the forgotten essence of human movement. And it's by Shane Benzie with Tim Manger. Tim Major, I nearly said Manger, didn't I, with Christmas, Tim, Tim Major, sorry Tim, Tim Major, not Manger, because that's a way in a manger. Anyway, yes, <laughs> Christmas time, Christmas time, yeah. What do you buy a runner who has everything? Well, a book, of course, yeah. And I'd love to hear from you guys. Leave in the comments below, what are your favorite um, books? Running, It can be running books or books that you found useful this year. Leave it in the comments below, I'd love to hear from you. But why have I got this as my running book of the year? Well, apart from having had the pleasure of interviewing Shane Benzie on this channel to talk about his book and journey, because it's been quite a journey for Shane. It's It goes through it's a book for me i love factual books so this is this is real stuff it's not fiction and also there's no hyperboles or anything like that it doesn't make a drama out of things which uh, some other books do but i know that a lot of those other books are there to entertain and so on so i get it but this particular book i can't talking and waving my hands whilst holding a book is quite difficult for me but anyway it's got over a decade of research. He's travelled all over the world meeting some of the best runners at all different levels all over the world. He's travelled, he says he's travelled the six continents where people have raced across six continents. Now I think in the world we have seven continents don't we? So obviously there's one continent where the people don't race or is it six? I don't know. Am I got my geography right? Anyway he's travelled across the world at some of the most incredible endurance races and met so many athletes and all I can say is 
I'm right into this book. I've been through the book and it's split into a number of sections where he's taking you on the journey first around the world, meeting various runners. Then he talks about the technique and how people have lost, as the book says, we've lost the art of running. And he, one of his favorite quotes I love in there, and he said during the interview, is there's so many people out there, and you might relate to this quote, is especially if you're on social media, there's so many people that know everything about running, everything. I mean, I, I know for a fact, because people have told me that I know nothing, yeah? That there's people who know a lot more than me, yeah? The only challenge is, that Shane says, is they don't know how to run. And that's what this book talks about, and it goes into practicalities of what to do. It's not easy, yeah? Because it talks about changing your gait, changing your running form and so on, if it's wrong, yeah? And the best way to find out is video yourself. During the interview, I asked him, you know, what's the number one thing that people can do is video yourself running and look at your running form. And as I say, the way the book is structured and form, it's, it's so funny. It's real, real stuff. And you listen to these guys. And when he's there with the, some of the best athletes in the world who are winning races already or in podium places, and he's still able to help them improve their running, what, what does that say? We can all improve our running in some way. And that's why I have this book of the running book of the year 2020, because I truly believe it can help each and every one of us. I'll be going through all the practicalities and I might do some separate videos on the form and type of stuff and focusing on it. I've already had guests who talk about the breathing. He talks about the breathing as well. And, uh, and I'll be looking to speak with specialists in different areas because there's a lot of things that I've just done through intuition. And I think sometimes we forget what we can do just by using our intuition. And one of the things I really do thrive on is, is learning from other people. Um, because I'd rather learn from other people's mistakes than making the mistakes myself that they've, they've already done and learned. Does that make sense? So for me, yeah, I've made mistakes and I'll probably continue to make mistakes, but I'll learn from those not to repeat the mistake. I know it doesn't happen all the time. We can't guarantee the mistake won't happen again. But if other people have made certain mistakes, I can learn from those as well. And Shane goes into detail with the, the, some of the elite athletes there and talking about that, but also age groupers and people who are non-elites. So it is for people of all different levels and abilities and it's fascinating when he talks about people who are heel striking and straight legs and it slows them down. I used some of those because I'd already been going through the book before the 10K and the simple little tip, you know, about holding your head up high, looking at horizon and picturing yourself in a certain way because it's how we perceive how we run that helps us as in my particular poem, my signature poem, yeah? And I've had people critiquing this as well. At the end of the day, they're going to criticise everything. Is I'm the poet with pace, often seen running with a red face. But follow me now and I'll show you how to run with style, panache, elegance and grace. That, that's my signature poem, which I'd written years ago. And uh, that's what this book is about. Running with style, panache, elegance and grace. Or at least that's how we perceive ourselves. That's how I perceive myself, how I run. Having seen some videos of me running, I'm thinking, mm, not quite, but hey, how I perceive myself, I, at times, I feel like I am poetry in motion and I'm just gliding like a gazelle. I mean, when, when, when you run a 10K at my age, um, I'll soon be 60, in under 38 minutes, um, I feel like a gazelle that I'm flying through the air. But that sums up my take on this book. It's gone through sections where he takes you on the journey, then he goes into the, the theories, and then there's actual practical examples in there that we can implement to become better runners. That's why it's my book of the year 2020. Thank you so much for watching this video. Really do appreciate your time. And I wish you all a very happy Christmas, and I hope that 2021 is better for all of us than it was in the, the past year. So thank you so much for watching. Look forward to seeing you at the next videos. And also I will be having a live Christmas Eve chat here on this channel. Thank you all so much. Bye-bye.